a pioneer in development of funerary practices, the cemetery includes the first crematorium, 1889, and funeral garden in Paris. It is really beautiful. It's breathtakingly beautiful. We're here today in Paris at Pierre Lachey Cemetery. And we're gonna see some pretty famous people who are buried in the cemetery. It's one of the largest cemeteries here in Paris. Pierre Lachey was designed in 1804 to replace the unsanitary parish cemeteries. It's the largest green space in Paris. That's pretty cool. It has over 70,000 graves and several commemorative monuments. And it's interesting, there's like a mix of old graves and new graves. This is one of the most famous cemeteries in Paris. There's a couple graves here that you would know for sure. Jim Morrison, Oscar Wilde. We're gonna find all of them today. One of the most visited cemeteries in the world. The ghost story we heard yesterday was Hebelise and Abelard, these two people who were in love. She was supposed to have joined a convent and he was supposed to be her teacher. And they were kept apart from each other and wrote each other the most beautiful love letters. Well, this is their grave. Their final wishes were to be buried beside each other. And this is it. So James Douglas Morrison was an American singer, songwriter, and poet who was the lead vocalist and primary lyricist of The Doors. He's regarded by music critics and fans as one of the most influential frontmen in rock history. He's actually the son of a rear admiral. He dies at 27 years old. He dies July 3rd, 1971, here in Paris. But still one of the most visited graves here in Paris. And that's Jim Morrison lead singer of The Doors. In the middle of Pierre Lachey and Olivia de Havel is in here somewhere. It hasn't been publicly revealed. So her location still hasn't quite been found, but she is in this location. And here's the grave of Oscar Wilde, one of my favorite writers of all time. I know his grave has been redone a couple of times. It's so amazing to be here and it's protected. Women have kissed it. <laughs> and alien tears will fill for him, pity's long broken urn, for his mourners will be outcasts men and outcasts always mourn. So Gertrude Stein, she's born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and she is a famous writer, author, very much into feminism. And one of her favorite quotes, whoever said money can't buy happiness simply didn't know where to go shopping. <laughs> America is my country and Paris is my hometown. That's the one I love the best. Here's famous French singer Edith Piaf. Um, she was in that movie La Vida Rose, born in a brothel, prostitute for a mother, couldn't see for many years until her mother took her to the shrine and she got her eyesight back and then became one of the most famous French singers. Uh, La Vida Rose is beautiful and that movie is just fantastic. And this is her grave here at Pilochet, and I think her name is on the side here. 
she was only 47 years old. She's very young. It's awesome to be here. This is a beautiful cemetery. If you ever get a chance to make it out to Pere Lachaise here in Paris, I definitely recommend it. It was just a lovely walk, great weather, beautiful examples of architecture, and the graves are just breathtakingly beautiful. And then to see Jim Morrison and Oscar Wilde and other famous people that I love, it was awesome. So on to my next Walk With History.